electrolysis. Try this activity. Procedure Take a solution of 1 gram copper sulfate in 50 milliliters water in a 100 milliliter capacity beaker. Use a thick plate of copper as anode and a carbon rod as cathode. Arrange the apparatus as shown in the figure and pass an electric current through the circuit for some time. Do you see any changes? In the above activity, copper appears to have deposited on the portion of the cathode immersed in the solution. How did this happen? When an electric current started flowing through the circuit, the cations, that is, Cu2 plus ions in the solution, got attracted towards the cathode. Cu atoms are formed when electrons coming out from the cathode combine with the Cu2 plus ions. A deposit of the copper appeared on the cathode. Even though the Cu2 plus ions in the solution were used up in this manner, the color of the solution remained the same. Because while electric current was on, electrons were removed from the Cu atoms of the anode and sent to the battery through the electric wire. The Cu2 plus ions formed in this manner entered the solution. In this way, decomposition of the solute in the solution took place due to the electric current. This is called electrolysis. There are two parts in the electrolysis process. These are the cathode reaction and the anode reaction. The two parts of the electrolysis process that take place in the above activity are shown below. Cathode reaction Cu2 plus aqueous plus 2 electrons gives Cu solid. Anode reaction Cu solid gives Cu2 plus aqueous plus 2 electrons.